I'm, uh, I'm on my way to Valensbeck uh, skating road here in Denmark. And with me in the car, I got Maunus, my camera buddy, and also best friend. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do some, some sprints today. Not my favorite, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, it's gonna be 12 times 300 meters, and it'll be kind of progressive. So that the first 200 are both acceleration and technical, and then the, the final 100 are, are gonna be full gas all the way. So it'll be fun to see how, uh, how my body reacts to it, and even though it's, it's short, 12, 12 times is, is gonna be quite a lot. So it might be a little hard, also because I'm not that used to sprinting. I will see. It'll be fun, that's for sure. It's nice having more quality for once, because I'm used to, yeah quantity first and doing lots of hours and and even though I'm always focused obviously uh, it's a bit tough um, when you get tired to keep it all together and yeah and be as focused as you were at the beginning of the training so it's good with quality today and uh, it's a nice place to do it great straights and the surface is fine it's really quick it's a fast track uh, if there's time for it not that I don't have time for it but the weather might be against us if you turn the camera a bit. Yeah. We'll have to see about that. Well, it seems like it's gonna be a wet one because uh, I just felt the first drop in my hand. Well, I guess there's nothing to do about it. It's, uh, that's, that's what it's like to train in Denmark. Gotta get the best out of it. And, uh, yeah. Trying to save my bearings afterwards. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, I just heard from the coach no sprinting, sprinting in the rain. So uh, we'll have to come back tomorrow. Uh, kind of sucks, but it's also okay because my legs are pretty sore. I did a hardcore uh, weight session with the with the boss Thor <laughs> earlier today. So I think my legs are pretty heavy about it. Uh, speaking of Thor, he's my uh, he's my uh, yeah weightlifting coach, uh, and he's coached me for a year and a half now. And yeah, mostly like technical, and he also does my weightlifting program, and that helps a lot. That's for sure. Uh, it's been very useful. I didn't do. I did weights when I was younger, but it wasn't as, as planned and structured as it is now. And also I have uh, yeah, really few injuries because I know, know how to perform all the exercises uh, the way they're meant to be performed. And yeah, just the safety and it's also nice for me that I know that everything I do is, is planned and it's just it's not just something I came up with or I like, felt like it would be funny or whatever. So it's always what what would be the best, and I feel like he does a good job to to suit it for for skating, uh, like specifically, and it's very very customized compared to other weightlifting programs. Oh shit! How about we get the get inside, man? <laughs> No need for words in this one. Need for a raincoat on the other hand. <laughs> that would be handy right now. Uh, I thought it would be a struggle to train in this weather. I think right now it's, it's all yeah, it's like a struggle just to get back to the car. <laughs> Lovely Denmark. Should have stayed in Holland. <laughs> Same. Guys, so today we're back at it, and uh, today this, the weather seems like it's in our favor this time. Luckily, I'm about to change my uh, my frames right now because I want to do this workout on the uh, 
125 is a little more fun when it goes a little faster. Um, that's what's going on right now. I'm pretty, uh, pretty up for it. I'm excited about it because now I, I waited the whole night to do the session because of the bad weather yesterday. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good one. It's finally time for this skating session. There's a big chance this is gonna be the longest video vlog ever seen, <laughs> but now it's finally time. So I was still up for the uh, two times six progressive 300 meters. So I was still, like I said yesterday, quality for once. I'll see. Uh, it'd be exciting to see how I handle the sprints. Today we're in Slaylza and it's on a parabolic track. I don't think I've been here uh, for a while, not on this track, especially not sprinting on it. Rumor says that it should be a little faster than, uh, than before, and not as slippery, so I'm looking forward to that. I'll tell you in a minute. Halfway. <laughs> Still the other half to go though. One more to go. Yeah. 
So that was it for today. Legs feel they feel all right for now. I'll see about that tomorrow. <laughs> Might be a little sore later on. So the reason I do workouts like these, even though it's the off season, is that it's it's still important. Though it's not the main focus to do yeah sprints for now. It's still important to yeah to get the feeling now and then how it is to go fast, so that the legs won't get too too slow, too lazy, too heavy. Um, so I do workouts like these. Uh, once every second week maybe it's also important to work on the uh, anaerobic capacity uh, now and then especially for me because I train for the the mass start the 1500 meter on ice and yeah you gotta be good at sprinting uh, even though the mass start is it's a long race it's always uh, yeah I had an intermediate sprint or a sprint for the line by the end of it so I gotta work on that. It's also my yeah my big weakness on ice. Even in the 5k, it's it's really important to have a good start. So I usually lose a second, uh, maybe a second and a half, uh, just in the first 200 meters. So this is a good way to, to get better at that. Even though I don't have ice here. So that was it for today. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, yeah, stay tuned because I'll I'll try and make some other vlogs like these from yeah training uh, everything you can imagine <laughs> keep rolling see ya and if you like this video make sure to like the video